I make and fit artificial eyes. We've been doing it for five generations. Right now, for Richard Dan's and Sons, there's my brother-in-law and myself. Besides making an eye, the best part is turning a person's life around. Peter is one of our youngest patients. Our patients range in age, like I say, from three months to probably a hundred years old over the years that I've been here. That's why I get them not squeezing. Open. Peter was diagnosed with cancer at 16 months old. Uh, cancer of the eyes, which is called bilateral retinoblastoma. Here, how many fingers I have up? Two. Two. My husband and I, we teach him to love his eye and to respect it and not to be ashamed of it. This picture is, this is Peter's right eye before it was removed. That's the cancer that was inside the right eye. If you take a flash photo of your child and the pupil comes out white on a direct photo, it will, it shows up, it detects it. Once a year he gets a new eye. Uh, every month we do a fitting. Um, we come here every three weeks for Peter. Uh, the, pr the cost of his eye, I believe it's 3500 to 4000 Mama, no! The insurance covers about 20% of his prosthetic eye, and we pick up the rest of it. What I would make normally as an ocularist at gross would be around 70000 When When the patient is very young, uh, or we're talking uh, s several months to a year old, you may be seeing him monthly, uh, then yearly, and then every three years. My name is Moshe Zutnik. I started here at Mrs. Kurzweil's office about oh, uh, when I was six months old. I'm right now 16. People don't know that you have it. Once, once you have one, it, you really look perfectly normal. I'm an ocularist. I've been doing that for 40 years. Those are impression trays. Uh, what I do now is select the right size for the socket, the way it is now, and mix the uh, alginate, which comes in powder. It really dries very quickly, so we have to be very quick with everything. The impression that's injected into the socket, and that's what's going to give me the shape of his socket and the size. From that impression, I prepare a wax, a wax shape. From that shape, I make a, custom, a uh, cast mold uh, in which an acrylic is uh, pressed. The acrylic is then colored and finalized. For probably about two months now, I've been wearing it all the time. I just leave it in and don't even think about it. It's like part of my body. <laughs> 